Hey everybody, welcome back to Live Free and Toulon. Today we are taking a look at something that has been highly anticipated, well at least by me, it's been highly anticipated. This is the brand new clamp light. Now, it's flexible, it has a lot of clamping force to it, and it's a halo light. It has one setting and two settings, and as you can see right here, It's a magnifying glass. Now, the big magnifying glass does 3x, and then there's a little bitty magnifying glass on there, as you can see, and that does 5x. Now, that's really good. These are brand new. They're still kind of hard to find. You can find them at Home Depot for $39.95 or $40 if you want to round up special taxes. Um, and you know what? When I first heard about this and I saw this, I got to tell you, I was a little bit giddy, if you want to say that, because I'm a geek. I love tech stuff. One of my favorite tools is the clamp fan. Now, the cool thing about the clamp fan is that it can go anywhere. It lasts for a long time. It has two different settings, and it clamps on stuff, and it rotates. It's the greatest thing ever, especially in summer when you have your kids and a lot of activities. And if you look at my favorite videos, this is number one. This is the bench light. As you can see, it's very stable. It cascades a super even light. It's mobile, you can lay it down. It's just super versatile. So it really checked all the boxes for me, so I ended up getting it. So this is what we're gonna look at today. The model number for this is PCL664. And it runs off the 18 volt one plus system. Uh, now, there's a couple things that I wanna go through is the use of this and kind of some of the things that I use it for. With the magnifying glass, let's bring it in and let's take a closer look at what I use it for and then kind of some of the cool little things that uh, I do with it too. Okay, so let's take a look at this little board. This is one of my hand lights where it actually blew out. It's kind of hard for me to see. It's kind of hard for me to actually focus in because, well, my eyesight's just not as good as what it used to be. So this is one of the things that I have used this on just to get a better look at things. So let's go ahead and use this to take a look. As you can see, it really does help. Now let's turn on the light. And that's the high setting. That's the low setting. So on the high setting, you have 300 lumens. On this setting, you have 150, I believe. But as you can see, it is a lot easier to use. Now, if we go to the 5X and we really try to zoom in with a little 5X, check that out. Look at how much you can actually see. And you can see where it's burnt. And you just get that much more detail of what happened. So this is without any magnification. There's your 3X. And then there's your 5X. So it is very valuable and it helps out so much that you can see this on this type of scale right through here. All right, so you've seen what this actually looks like when you're using it for looking at those small things. So as you can see the light right now, you can use it. Um, it's flexible. Uh, you can, ex that's the problem. You extend it, it does fall. So you really have to keep this centered so it doesn't fall. And if you turn it around, right, so actually I can just do this. You can turn this, the head does move, and it does fall pretty easily. Um, so that, you know, that was a pretty big bummer because it's tabletop. Now, I know what everyone's gonna say, you have to use the clamp. Well, I'll tell you what, on this workbench, I can't because the supporting beams is a two by six. This is not going to fit around that. So um, I was looking for the tabletop use for this, um, and I really am not able to use that just because it's not really practical. Um, it's not well balanced if I need to extend it, but I can use it just like this. You know, if I need to kind of arch over, I can. Now, that's really depending on the type of battery that I'm using. The heavier battery, you know, the more heavier base that I'm going to get, the more stable this is going to be, the lighter battery, so on and so forth. You get the what I'm saying there, at least I hope you do. Um, now, what I wanted to also show and this is going to be a very practical test, is that we have three different size boards right here. 
So I have a four amp hour battery on this and what we're going to do is test the clamp on a, and this is what it's rated for on a two by four. This is on a right around a seven eighths inch piece of ply or uh, piece of wood. It's not plywood. And then we're going to do half inch plywood and you're going to see how stable it is on each piece of wood using the clamp because, well, that's why it was made. So first it's meant to go on here. So let's clamp it onto there. And you know what, just for form and factor. Okay. So it's clamped on. Let's see how stable. Let's just move this light around going all the way over, going back. Let's go this way. Let's go all the way back this way. And for giggles, let's turn this all the way around. This is going all the way out to the lens, fully extended, very stable, performs very well, very happy with it right now on this two by four. So let's go ahead and switch it to the one by four piece of, uh, well, it's not one by four. This is, you know, seven eighths piece of uh, milled wood. So as you can see, we're moving it. Um, let's extend it all the way out to the camera. Once again, it's pretty stable. It's moving around. All right. That didn't stay on. Let's try this again. Hold on. You got to hold on to it. If you're moving it, it's not very stable. Okay. So I, I can move it. It's, it's just not that stable. If you move it too much, get it where you need to be and leave it because if you move it too much, it's just, it's going to, you know, become unclipped, especially if you maneuver it a few different ways. So, um, just something to keep in mind. It does work. It's just not great. Now let's take a look at the plywood. Um, yeah, this is, it does not have the clamping force to really even move the light around. I just want to move it down. Yeah, it's just, it's coming right off. So I uh, just wanted to show you what this looked like on three different surfaces for the clamp for this light. Okay, so I showed you how the light worked. We went through a couple tests. I showed you what it's really practical for. I showed you what it may not be so practical for. Um, and I showed you my motivation for it most of all. So I'm not sure how you all will interpret this uh, review. I know that I think it has its time and I think it has its place. I think it's priced a little bit high for what the technology is in it right now. I think it really needs to come back down to the $30 mark if, you know, maybe a little bit lower than that. Um, but I think that the build quality is good. Don't get me wrong. It does have some pretty good rubber feet in here to grip onto surfaces. Um, but it really is meant for that two by four that's in here. Once you get to the lower, once the clamp's not very good, the base for this is not very stable just because I know what it's made for. Now, are there going to be aftermarket bases that come out for this to make it more stable and more appealing to people? Well, absolutely. Of course, are the things that you could do to make this work and to weigh it down? Absolutely. I'm not knocking that, but what I am saying is that there is room for improvement. I think that it still has a very good place in your shop. So leave some shelf space open because you're going to need to use this. It's going to fit in some of the spaces that other things wouldn't. And the articulation of this arm is just absolutely incredible. Uh, now you'll see a lot of lights like this in some of the crafting fields and things like that, uh, but not as mobile and it doesn't have the same abilities as of this either. So I hope that you all appreciated this and I hope that you liked it. If you did, please hit that like button. Don't forget to subscribe. Hey, we'll see you in the next video. Take care, everybody.